Well, I find them totally fascinating um, because they're clearly incredibly smart. The Think Tank, I think, is one of the most unique exhibits as far as zoos around America, perhaps around the world, go. Because it's an exhibit that doesn't really focus on any particular animal. This is actually an exhibit that focuses on a biological product that we believe is, is present in many animals, namely the mind. I've always been fascinated by primates. Um, I'm really, really just curious and just really interested in, in how they think, how are they like and unlike uh, me, how are they like or unlike a human child, you know, what makes them different um, and why. To me, those are just such fundamentally interesting questions that get to who we are. I mean, I, I often wonder whether or not those questions have more to do with us than with them, um, right? Are we really interested in them? Am I really interested in the orangs or am I just really interested in myself? Um, I would like to think that I'm, of course, very interested in the orangs. So this task that we use is a task that was devised back in the 80s to test basically rules and structure, right? Because with grammar you have arbitrary words, right? That have to be arranged in a specific sequence. So it's actually, this task actually was inspired to try to test some basic psychological features um, of language, but that's not language. Hmm. What we've been training her to do is to basically learn to touch these pictures in a specific order. So let's say it's a picture of an apple, a boy, and a cat. She has to touch apple, boy, cat. And then from trial to trial, the pictures scramble on the screen. So it literally forces her, which is what makes this task so challenging for them. It forces them to like remember each picture kind of as a list, like A, B, C, right? She cannot do it like in a motor pattern. She cannot do this every time. Right? Because the pictures keep scrambling. You have to somehow in your head encode it or label it somehow in order so you could remember it over time. So you could do that by trial and error. Or if you have the benefit of observing someone who already knows the order of the rules, who already knows that it's apple, boy, cat, then you could effectively copy them or, or imitate um, the rule that they're executing um, um, on these pictures. Human children pick up this very, very quickly. So, whereas it takes orangs anywhere from six months to a year to be real experts at, the ta at this task, it takes a three-year-old, an average three-year-old, about 15 minutes to be an expert on this task. So I think one of the things that we hope to get out of these studies is to better understand how animals learn on their own as opposed to how they learn from someone else, which appears to be one of those things that is uniquely human. Animals could learn from other people, but humans seem to have a special ease from learning with others that is really um, an interest of mine. And so understanding what makes us these exceptional um, social and social learners and these exceptional imitators is one of the things that I hope to get out of these studies. There are these clear differences that you see just superficially, right, between human and non-human animals. But what about the mind? What is it about our mind that is, that is unique? I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to explore these questions and to work with um, such great people and to work with such interesting animals. It's definitely a privilege.